what is up everybody it's easy easy street gaming bringing you one of my favorite segments that we do here on the channel this is the attack of the week we've kind of changed this into a player of the week this this week we got two different players they both got 12 packs in the last war the first uh, couple of, now just so you know we had some of the attacks get cut off because of the um, maintenance break so I, co I couldn't bring the whole segment so I'm just gonna bring you what I could uh, First one is from Michael Mann. This is actually his mini hero, who's not that much of a mini anymore. I see bowlers everywhere. <laughs> uh, doing the slap attack. These are great attacks. He has really come a long way with this attack too. And this is, uh, for, for those of you who don't know this attack, this is a combination bowler witch attack. Uh, use, using some, uh, he used the golem to help tank for the bowlers and witches. There's a bunch of different ways to do this attack, but he does this attack without the help of, of the healers Which is a pretty uh, pretty impressive thing if you ask me But what that does is give him that extra punch because he has all those extra troops that he can use and you can see here I haven't stopped talking on the intro and he's already two-thirds of the way through the base. So Powerful attack you have to be careful for giant bombs with this the witches do not clear giant bombs Those skeletons do not help with that but after the last update the May 2017 update the witches have got a, a small change to them They now when they die they now they don't deal death damage But what they do is they break up into several Skeletons so that's different from before and that actually does help because sometimes that the witch will go down And it's got a sliver of, of health left on whatever defense she was on and now she'll split up into a bunch of skeletons and if it's just a point defense that can only take out one at a time Might have just enough time to get two or three skeletons on that last defense so The clan we just fought and lost to I hate losing the engineer clans god I hate it, but we did we lost the engineer clan by two stars um, And I'm still alive and kill myself but I almost want to every time I, I see an engineer clan across the way because it's it's like Am I gonna get three star by the number 15 player? This is a small war 15 on 15 and You know our the top of our clan was at risk of being three star from their bottom three players. Yay <laughs> All right, so next attack is from Michael man. This is main and uh, d Comes in with a, almost an identical attack Comes in, brings the witches in, has a, a up on the right hand side, he has a, a golem in, tanking for the witches. He uses a jump spell to get all the bowlers and witches into the core, and then he puts a rage spell on them, and then it's just an avalanche of boulders from that point on. And as long as he can avoid the giant bombs, which he did for the most part, then th this attack is, is super successful. So, uh, now he's on the back side of the base, the, the, the bowlers are getting tons of value out of the second skip on the ball on the on those those boulders and That's something that you have to consider while you're building your base If you are a town hall 10 or a high level town hall 9 and you have bowlers coming across your base You can't line up your defenses uh, In a vertical or horizontal alignment you have to offset them a little bit and In hopes that the bowlers can't bounce that that bowler and, and end up getting that second defense That's too much value for the bowlers Especially on the outside of the base on the outside of the base um, Keep in mind that most of the time people are gonna have healers going on the outside of the base with these bowler attacks and uh, And the the healers you, you need to take out the healers you need to offset the Air defense by setting it back at least one whole set of walls and make sure it's not completely lined up with one of the outer defenses or also drop the bowlers on that outer defense and let's say if it's a cannon uh, the, the bowlers will attack the cannon and the boulders will sk skip over to the air defenses which are right behind it if they're lined up I finally got that out it took four or five edits to get that right so next attack is from, from Michael Mann this time he comes in from the corner and he's got three golems comes in with three golems so he's got a uh, stoned entrance stony entrance whatever it is and most of these clan castles have the same thing. This one right here has the, the Lava Hound and uh, the one balloon, which that's not going to hurt you too bad as long as you can get that balloon out of the way. 
And as long as the queen doesn't get stuck in the lava hound and ends up trailing behind everything. But he takes care of all that pretty well. Now he does have a small group going around the outside in this attack. Which that's not the worst thing in the world. Because now both uh, the bowlers have a great reach on the outside. The witches have a good reach on the outside. The skeletons are stretching out in front. So he manages to go around the outside with the bowlers and witches. The golems are going, are kind of following around, following, wow, I am just struggling, following them around on the inside, uh, use those jump spells wisely so he doesn't have a golem stuck on a wall, beating out a wall the entire attack, so at this point he's got about two thirds of the base taken out, and there's one, two, three, four, about five defenses left that are dangerous to these troops, so looking really good, this is a pretty high level, it was a town hall 11, but it was, you know, it was actually just a really high level Town Hall 9. Didn't have the Town Hall 10 or 11 defenses. Again, the engineered, uh, another engineered base. Man, I just get a little moment of silence. Uh, putting in thought what I really think about him. Uh, <laughs> so, solid attack. This attack's uh, style, just watched uh, the YouTuber, uh, I believe it was a 5 on 5 and watch some of the top YouTubers in the world or I'm sorry, top clans in the world sorry, getting confused I am all over the place guys, wow so yeah, watch some of the top clans in the world battle each other and we saw the witch, the boulder witch attack the slap, the bitch slap, whatever but that was all over the place in these top clans so these guys are using it a lot up top they're using that and the next attack coming up. The next attack coming up is from uh, Boss, a new addition to the clan. She, uh, originally from GB Elite, made a transition for a little while at least. Hopefully, um, we can hang on to the Boss. Awesome player. She actually has the, the clan record at this point. Uh, she, on average, she will scout a base for just about 22 hours before she'll actually attack. And so the, on this one right here, after about a 22 hour scout, she comes in with the Gola Loon. And uh, just check out the way she uses these troops. Comes in the corner, it's going to jump right into the compartment that has two air defenses in it. So she comes in with a Golem, a bunch of bowlers, and then the, the heroes. And out of the clan castle comes dragons and balloons, which that's, that can be dangerous to these bowlers. But the queen locks onto the dragon pretty quick, takes out the balloons, takes out the dragon, puts a poison spell down. Always bring that poison spell, especially when you're using bowl when, when you're going to use bowlers as part of your attack because they can't attack air. So that kind of uh, weakens that that blow that those air troops can do, and, and, you know, in hopes that your queen can get over there in time. So then the second phase of the attack comes in, uses a um, what I would call a, a semi-surgical strike with the balloons. You know, they had the balloons got a half buff, half nerf, depending on how you look at it, to where they they're doing the same DPS, and they are actually dropping the bombs faster. So the second, third, fourth hit is a little faster, but that first initial hit that the balloons do isn't quite as big. So the, you know, the surgical strikes that have the two balloons on each defense that doesn't work quite as well anymore. So now you have to put three balloons in if you want to try to do a surgical strike. So it's a, it's a lot safer to put in larger groups, maybe five or six on five or six balloons on two defenses instead of putting two on each defense. And that just assures that you're gonna make you're gonna take out those defenses. And you know, this is a kind of, this is kind of a scary point in the attack because you have a giant line of defense of uh, outer trash buildings and some of them are pretty high hit point and you only have one group of balloons with a couple of uh, minions out in front then you have that one golem down bottom just working at working up that uh, storage so it's going to be on that storage probably for the rest of the attack and the balloons are going to struggle just to catch up with the minions but they will catch up with the minions and they will clear the rest of the base so great attack you know, the, the Gola Loon is uh, it's an elite attack. It's an elite attack for Town Hall 9 through 11. And it is not an easy attack to do either. Because there's a lot of timing issues. You have to split up the, the spells that you need for the second phase of the attack by bringing the jump spell in. And most of the time you're going to have to expend a, a rage spell in the beginning part of the attacks too. So now you're stuck with like one rage and maybe three haste for all those balloons and for the, for the lava hounds to make it through the whole base and and now there is um, you know there's some changes with the balloons so 
kind of up in the air as far as how effective this attack is going to be moving forward. Not quite sure. But, Boss handled it. She did a great, great job. Great job to Boss. Great job to Michael Man. Just 12 packs for both of them. Um, really great performance. It wasn't a winning war. Kind of sucks for them as far as that goes. But, you know, these engineer clans. We will see the end of them one day. Um, the new game mode. You can see the change that's happening with it. There's no longer, you, I mean, you have to get the defense before you can move up on Town Hall. So they've, they've taken out the engineer part of that altogether. So, in closing, I want to thank everyone that has been supporting the channel. If you haven't subbed to the channel yet, please do. I've got a bunch of videos in there for you. So if you're new to the channel, you have a, a pretty good library to go back and check out all the different things that we've done over the past year or six months or whatever. So check it out. Uh, like the video if you like the video sub to the channel till next time. It's been easy. Take care everybody